Ah. So. Hey, guys and girls. This is Gordon Overkill with the second episode in our amazing adventures in outer space. Great to see so many people on the stream already. Uh, let me quickly take a look. Uh, who is already there? Darothok is there. Hi, Darothok. KM Pinky is also there and KM Pinky gifts a subscription. Thanks a lot for the su support. Then we have Vikos on the stream. Ne Che Guevara is also da, I think for the Che Guevara, for the first time. And subscribes. Thanks a lot for the support. Ah. Uh, Corin is there too. That's really cool. Uh, Paolo is there. Darothok is there. Nysek is also there. Of course, also on board. Oh, Jokatur is here. Guys, that's totally amazing. Curvox is here, our uh, number one FTL expert. And Tokrat is there and PGP. Hi, everybody. Totally great. The, all of you want to, uh, want to witness the second space adventure episode. So, guys, let's go. <laughs> let's continue our game. As a short reminder, in the first episode of this fantastic space adventure, we cleared the first two sectors of the game. We started with Nysek, Aldrich Wolfie, Jokatur as our crewman, and um, just a couple jumps ago, Kervox also joined the crew. He's the NG who has now manned our shields. We have still got our original weapons, but the original weapons of this ship, of the GSS Tiffany, are pretty cool. So we can keep them for a while. We probably want to upgrade our weapons at one point, but uh, maybe if we, we can definitely get through this sector with the weapons we have. Also, we got our shields up to level 2. We've got a couple additional points for our engine and we bought a hacking device. Our ship is pretty well equipped. What do we want to do with this equipment? We have just entered the Zoltan home world. So it's gonna be pretty exciting to see if we can find the home planet of the Zoltan and maybe do the special message over there. Um, Kervox does not have any uh, initial skills. He just got everything at zero. But he is an NG. The NGs have uh, two special class uh, race features. The first is they are super good at repairing damaged systems or hull breaches. So he can repair all these things probably twice as fast as everybody else. The second thing is they are very, very ba bad at melee fighting. So they do less damage if they try to uh, fight the enemy boarding crews. But well, that's not his job. Our fighters are, of course, uh, Eldritch Wolfie, who trained a little bit already. Uh, Nysek already fought a little bit too. And uh, Jokatur, who is also quite a brawler. <laughs> so, let's go. Kerox has to study his shield books. He will surely do so. But at first, which way do we want to take through the system? We could start on the top and then go down to the nebula. We could start at the bottom. But there is no way to get, go back up into the nebula. If we go around here, we could then jump up here, take these three. This, 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 this. I, I think the top route should, route should be fine. But we will miss a lot of systems and I'd like to find them so we don't miss the home world. So if we take this route, we will scout all the systems on the way there. Hmm. I think that's better. We will see the quest location or the special location, won't we? We go down here first. Let's do it. We have to start the action. The AI of a nearby small rebel scout immediately identifies you as a threat and engages. Whoa, and you see guys, this is a dangerous ship. They have a drone device. 
They have a beam weapon, they have a heavy weapon and they have two shields. It will be significantly harder to hit this ship compared to all the other ships we fought so far. Question is, oh no, no, that's not a beam. It's lasers and it's an offensive drone. They do a lot of damage. This is a double laser with two shots. This one has at least one shot. I think we better use our hacking tool for this fight. But what do we want to hack? We could potentially hack their bridge so they cannot dodge. We could hack the shields so we get more shoots, uh, shots in. I think we better hack the bridge. That's probably the best. Let's do that. Hack the bridge, charge the weapons. Maybe rather shields. Uh, if we hack shields, ah, maybe that's better. Maybe that's better. Um... Now that was my idea, hack the bridge and then volley into the shields or at least into the weapons to get them down. We also have our missile which cannot miss if we hack the bridge. Well, when we hack the shields they can still dodge the, myth the missile. Um, yeah, this guy definitely does damage. That's the reason why I'd like to take out the weapons. I think we do it like this. We hack the bridge. Wait till our weapons are charged. Here comes one shot. Here come the other shots. Weapon not yet charged. Let's shoot their weapon systems with our... Artemis missile. I'd like to take out the weapons. Um, that's not free shields training, I think. They can definitely hit us with a drone. Or can't they? They cannot take out our weapons if we... So, the bridge is hacked and all the weapons are down. Excellent. So, at least for a while, they are not able to, uh, to hit us now. Let's try to go for their shields next. Laser to shields would probably have been better. Corin, you're right, that would have been better. Have to take out their shields next. Well, at least... Oh no, the final shot missed. Well, soon our hacking device will be back online. Now it is online. Let's try to hit the shields now. So, ah, uh, that didn't really work. I think we just shoot another rocket into the shields. Oh, and I missed the rocket. I should have done it at the same time. That was bad. The AI ship does not have a crew, but they automatically repair their systems. It just takes a while. Ah, oh, again, one miss. The first weapon is back online. But very soon... Our hacking tool will be back online as well. So let's shoot this into the shields. The Artemis into the weapons. And hack the pilot room. Okay, that's good. Weapons back down. Shields down to one. Now we've got them. Good. Now let's make sure that the shields uh, stay down. Oh no, not like this. Anyways, our our hacking tool is back online. And we've got them, perfect. Nice, nice. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap materials. One fuel, one drone part, so we get the hacking drone part uh, back that we used, and 18 pieces of scrap metal. Nice job, guys. By the way, 
Oh, do you see that? NYSEC has almost reached second level piloting. That's the maximum level. We'll increase our evasion even further. Elrich Wolfie has almost reached second level engines. We will get dodgy. And Jokatur has already reached the second level in his weapon skills, so now uh, he charges our weapons faster. Cooldown goes down. So, we've got 28 scrap materials. We could from here just jump around like we wanted, but I think let us take some energy on the way so we can slowly but surely get our engines up to full power. I think we go down here. One of the guys is uneducated on our ship. Who might this guy be? Well, <laughs> Kerbox, it's just a matter of time. You will become a shields expert. But for now, a Zoltan ship is waiting at this beacon. Your, they request your identification, but radiation from the sun in this system is disrupting your communications. They take your silence for aggression and move in to attack. Dangerous ship, dangerous ship. The Zoltan ship has a couple of special features and the first feature just starts going on our nerves. This is gonna be tough indeed. Um, they do have a mind control device and they just controlled Yorkatur. So Yorkatur will now start attacking our own weapon systems. The only thing we can do to stop him is we can bring our wandering shields specialist Erish Wolfie over there. So he fights Yorkatur and prevents him from damaging the systems. Apart from that, they do have a missile which dodges our automatically dodges our um, our shields, so we don't need two shields. Instead, I rather put the uh, engines on full power, increases our dodge chance. And let's also get our med bay online because we will have to heal Kervox after his beating with the Yorker tour. <laughs> Furthermore, they have a Zoltan shield. The Zoltan shield has to be completely destroyed before we can even start uh, doing damage to the enemies. The first thing we want to take out... Oh, and they also have two shields. That's really tough. This is a dangerous ship. Let's just shoot the shields um, so we don't uh, miss an opportunity. See here now, uh, Jokatur and uh, Kervox are having a fight. Missile comes in. No! Out of, out there. Uh oh, Kervox. Oh, that, wa that was painful. They hit our weapons. Very bad. Oh, damn. I think we have to load the Artemis missile so we can do at least some damage to them. Run over there. No! Oh, no. The iron cannon stunned Kervox, who is heavily injured at the moment. We have to rescue him. Eldritch Wolfie, come over here and rescue Kervox. Okay, now it worked. Come back. Uh, we have to heal Kervox so he doesn't die from the next missile attack. Holy moly, that's a tough fight. Let's just shoot some rec some rockets in there. Oh yeah, we dodged. Very good. Excellent job. That was Elrish Wolfie and Nysak doing their thing. Kervox, quickly come over here. You're healthy enough. Repair quickly. Oh, see how quickly they repair the systems now. But the next... Missile is already on the way. We shoot a missile over here in order to hit there. I think let's hit the mind control device first. Oh yeah, again, perfect dodge. Excellent job, guys. And the mind control device is down. This is such a tough fight. Let's hack their shields. Everybody... Jokatur needs some healing. And Kervox stays a little bit out of his lane and uh, 
Oh, double shot from them. We will shoot their... their shields. At this... Also missile at the shields. And let's hack it. Oh, good. The shields are heavily damaged. Our med bay got destroyed, meanwhile. Let's keep shooting the shields. Oh, no. And, uh... Yokator got, um, again, mind control. They repaired the mind control device already. Oh, we take a lot of damage here. Oh, and we, we missed everything. Shoot the shields. Good, that's a fire. I like that. Um. Oh, no, fire on our ship. I don't like this. Let's vent this out. You go back. Both of you repair the mat bay. Oh no, don't repair the mat bay. Um. Oh, that's all not so good. Shoot the weapons. Good, and we destroyed the ship. Ay, 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 but this was a tough fight. The ship explodes. And uh, we get three fuel, a missile, and 24 scrap. The scrap... Is very good that's a lot but holy moly I don't want many of these fights that was really tough let's quickly bend this bot here so the the fire is extinguished now all we have to do is heal the guys Yorkatur and Elish Wolfi come over here I want... No, Kervax, Kervax, I want you to repair this thing. And now both of you get over. Mad Bay is repaired. Excellent. And you see that um, this gave Kervax his first experience point in repairing. So, everybody back to your stations. Our ship is almost done to one-third hull. That's not so good. That's not so good. We have to take care. Um, I would say, let's, in case such a fight happens again, let us one more time increase our energy so we can get our engines at full power all the time. And then we jump. Ah, oh, store, of course. Do we want to take this store? One, two, three? Nah, that's probably not worth That's probably not worth a high repair. We need to do that soon. But with the scrap from just two sectors, I think that's a waste. Don't really think we want to do that. But on the other hand, nah, too risky like this. I'd rather go this way around and hope of finding the home world. But I... I don't want to lose the ship. Let's play it safe. Okay, a rock ship. <sighs> you jump just in time to witness a Zoltan ship's FTL drive overload. In their final moments, they implore you not to get involved. But it's too late. Their attacker is already upon you. It is, oh, yay, 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 yay. it is again a dangerous ship. They have a cloaking device, a cloaked rock ship with a massive beam weapon and two impulse weapons who can most likely get through our shields. Once again, a very tough fight. Okay. Oh, oh we dodged one. That's good. Because these beam weapons, they do a ton of damage, but they cannot get through, sh through shields. They have to get through our shields with their um, perfectly uh, synced weapons. Then they can beam us in theory. Yeah, yeah, a stone ship, the, the rock are indeed a stony race. I think again we need to hack them. I 
again. That was fine. I think they will soon cloak again. So I wait for them to cloak and uncloak before we attack them. Just keep the weapons online. Yep. Bunch of stoners hitting a beam, indeed. <laughs> Curvox. That's it. Okay, luckily they shot us first. Okay, now, now it's time for us to strike back. Now it's time to strike back. Let's take out their weapons first. That makes them pretty much a lot less dangerous. So double hit against the weapons. Didn't uh, the beam is down. So now at the moment they just cannot hit us. That's good. I would prefer not to use any weapons. Uh, any any. Can we get one more in? I would prefer not to use any missiles for this fight because we have just eight missiles left at the moment. Man, the shields! Oh, thank you, Curvox. Completely forgot that. Get over here. Save the positions. Our beam laser is almost loaded. So, and let's now shoot into their cloaking thingy. Their cloaking device is down. Let's keep shooting the weapons. Very good, very good. Here, there you see the rock man. <laughs> it is indeed a rock man. The effect of the cloaking, uh, you get greatly increased uh, dodging and... Um, oh, fuck, they want to flee. Let's um, send a missile to their engines. Oh, they resist part of the damage. Luck oh, fuck, that's not good. Need to... Oh, we don't have a weapon online. Maybe they will be able to retreat. No, they don't have anybody at the at the helm at the moment, luckily. Let's take out their cockpit now. Good. Whew. That's good, that's good. Um they offer us four fuel and seven missiles. I kinda don't want that. I want more scrap. It's more important now that we get some scrap for the... This, that's a lot of missiles, but I don't think we will keep using missiles until the end of the game. Mm. Their FTL drive is charged, that's true, but I think we can destroy them in time. You know what? We destroy them. Yeah. Just need one more shot. That should do the job. And we've got them. Perfect. So now we don't get 12 scrap. We get 19. Two missiles and a drone pod. That's totally fine. Okay. Semi-tough fight. But, um, well, we did it. We get another jump before we go to the store. Let's go here. <coughs> You come to a quiet part of Zoltan space and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of a spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all part of day's work. What's our doom? I think, do we have to fight one of these guys? Ooh. The top bar is invisible on stream, that's not good. But, but which one? I think we should be able to see everything on stream. I hope so. Yeah, we fight one. Do we want to fight... A rock, a mantis, or a slug? I think the slug is the weakest. Let's fight a slug. 
Do not be fooled, Federation, by a soft underbelly. You detect a wormhole opening up and seconds later a slug ship is attacking from the other direction. Let's go. Okay, they have a charge gun and another gun. They can do damage. I think once again we need... We absolutely need our hacking device. And I think let's again use it against their cockpit so our missile also gets a safe hit. I really, we really have to use our consumables for these fights. Let's try to get down their shields with the missile and the weapons. Wait, no, the weapons later. Now we shoot this one at the weapons and we heck. Ah, perfect, perfect. What a nice volley. We've got 40% dodge chance. We're really dodging a lot. It's excellent that we have such a skilled captain and uh, such a skilled engineer. Shields are almost completely down now. They have fire on their weapons, that's very good. Shields are completely down. We might now try to shoot their oxygen. Ah, oh, no, th that destroyed them. You salvage the remains and contact the wise man. We get a missile back and we also get a drone pad back with 11 scrap. When he sees you have emerged victorious, the Zoltan wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until instead the Zoltan implodes. Sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage direct here from distant worlds in your direction. Two more missiles, a drone part, 31 scrap. Holy moly, that's amazing. We've got 63 scrap now. Wow, that was a good idea. That makes it actually worth going to the shop. What can we get here? A mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long dead space whale. The only way presumably for them to operate their black market trade without detection. Worth a look. Oh sure. Hi yeah 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 yeah. Chain laser. Chain iron. Chain iron. Wow 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 wow. Chain laser and chain iron. I'm not sure if we should spend everything on that. Also, there is an automated reloader, which is great. <sighs> Nothing to sell. Perhaps, except the Artemis, if we want to buy one of the weapons. But that would be too dangerous. We needed the Artemis in the last fights. I'd love to buy the chain laser. But we are lacking two. It's just two. Wait. Improving our weapons would cost 35. That's too much. Let's check one more time. Um, we get how much? How much do we get for the Artemis? We get 19. That leaves us... At, no, that's a little bit not enough. Nothing to sell. Nothing we can do here. So we have to buy. I would say let's buy the automated reloader because that's really, really good. And then repair the ship. I think that's what we do. We buy the automated relo reloader, minus 10% cooldown for the weapons. 
and then we repair the hull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like this. The remaining five we keep. Now our ship is back in really good condition and we can shoot even faster. Let's jump out of here. Another Zoltan ship. The nature of the day is rotational. The fuel is em emaciated. The fever is emaciated. The reason is they've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before you can consider finding help for them, they open fire. They have a flare gun that's dangerous. They have got a mind control device that's dangerous. And they've got a pretty dangerous laser. Okay, okay, okay. That's nothing to joke with. Again, we need to use our consumables. Luckily, it is just Kervox attacking the shields. So we might just send Yokotur over here. To do a little bit of fighting with them before anything gets damaged. And now let's take down their shields. Oh, we didn't even get the Zoltan shield down. That's not so good. Everybody back to the stations. This is the third sector, Paolo. But we're playing on hard mode. Hard mode is indeed pretty hard. I need to get the Zoltan shield down. Oh, you guys, you are dodging like crazy. Dodging like madman. Now we can finally use our hacking device. Wait till the burst laser is up again. Shoot the missile at the shields. And afterwards... Afterwards shoot the weapons. Hack the cockpit. Shoot. Nice. That was good. We took a little damage. Oh no. They damaged the weapons. Right afterwards. Oh damn. How bad is that? They hit the weapons. And at the very same turn. They mind controlled the weapon engineer. I don't like that. That means we are pretty much unarmed for the moment. Luckily we took out their flare gun. That's so important, otherwise that would have been really tough. You both quickly repair the weapons. Artemis missile is online again. Let's shoot it at the shields, I think. Good, shields stay low. Burst lasers back online, and you both go and heal yourselves. Okay, there comes a lot of fire. Luckily, we dodged it. Burst lasers almost ready. And go for the weapons. It's the last flare we have to dodge, and we dodged everything again. Super. Really good. I mustn't forget to uh, get the oxygen back online now. The ship explodes and we get 23 scrap, a missile and one fuel. Holy moly guys, this sector. Not a lot of trivial fighting here. Everything is a challenge. But the GSS Tiffany, still doing pretty well. So we will get there from up here. We get there, there. <laughs> Paolo, that's insane. I'm far from the skill level of being able to play FTL hard without pause. I'm perma-pausing. 
what do we have here? You spy two pirate ships lurking in the near in the nebula here. They remain unaware of your presence. You're able to get your scanners to at least identify their cargo. One is carrying fuel supplies, the other the ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Let's secure the ammunition. We've got more than enough fuel. You jet towards the pirate with the ammunition and engage. Hopefully you can leave the ship in one piece. Nah, we cannot. It's a mantis ship with a teleporter. A missile and a beam weapon. The missile is the major threat. Also, there is a plasma storm. Main reactor can only function at half capacity. That's good and bad at the same time. Bad because we're just lacking shields and engines. I hope. Wait a second. Let, let's. Okay, we do our standard procedure and we take out their weapons. Just waiting for the mantis. The mantis is in the. Oh, mantis! You're an idiot. The mantis is in the mad bay, the only place in the ship where we can beat it. It is not even a mantis. It's human. Anyways, let's take out their weapons. There comes the missile. Let's need a little more dodge if we can get it. So let's take a short one. I just try to dodge the missile, which does not work. Fuck! Right into the shields. But their missile weapon is down. That's good. Okay, guys, kill this guy anyways. Kill him quickly. I don't want him to be able to teleport back. Yes, got him. Very good. Get this and this back online. Weapons down. Perfect. Next, let's try to hit the cockpit. I probably wasted this drone. Okay, there is a hull breach. Let's open the doors. Just some more oxygen gets in here. Come on, Kerbox. Save the save us. Uh, fix that breach. Yeah, Kerbox did it. You go back on your station. Oh no 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 no! Wait a second. The weapons are back online. That's not nice. They're powering the FDL. Okay, that means let's get our Artemis online. I'd like to kill him quickly now. They cannot charge it at the moment because their engine, their the bridge is hacked. Oh, how bad was that? Try to destroy the engine, or maybe rather, yes, very good. Oh my god, these fights here. And we destroyed the mantis ship. Very good. The ship obliterated. Only scant ammunition crates can be savaged from the wreckage before the iron storm clears and you have to jump away. We get one missile and 13 scrap. That's not a lot. That's seriously not a lot. Anyways, let's jump out of this sector. To this distress beacon. You arrive to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew. But it'd be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste. A fuel, two missiles, 
11 scrap. We take that. So now close these doors again. Also, we should put everything back on energy. Everybody back to stations. So here we are again, 50 scrap now. We jump down here, then we decide where to go further. We've got the rebels right on our heels. Might become a tiny bit of a problem too. An unarmed Zoltan trans transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is a Zoltan peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Let's hear them out. Let's do that. They continue. We take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony. But either it's beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. They finish. Please spread the word of enlightenment to those that have not heard. Once you have, contact our breathing. They transmit coordinates of their so-called breathing. Added a quest marker to the next sector. Okay, okay, okay. That's good, that's good. The quest marker is in the next sector, not in this one. Now let's see how much time we still have. One, two, one, two, three, two. No, we don't get this in three jumps. One, two, three, four, like this. Or this would allow us a little. No, that would be a triple dive. A triple dive is nothing. We can't do that. We won't get to the to the sectors in the top right corner. We have to go down now. Yes. No way around it. There are few more zealous in their custom checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. They're just a little con there's just a little confusion over your weapon licenses. But things escalate rapidly from heat discussion to gunfire. Intruders on board! Intruders on board! Here they are! They have a missile once again. We have to quickly take out their... Missile. The missile is the only really dangerous thing here. Let's take these three guys. Oh, they want to fight in the... They want to fight in the, in the med bay. That's perfect. Let's just kill them. There comes the missile though, that's the most da- oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 that's not good. Forgot about him. No! Get out here, get out! Oh my god, oh my god! Whew! That was close. Holy moly, nice egg! What the hell? So let's send, um... This guy over here. Nysek in there. No! They killed Nysek when he just walked in there. Oh no! Nysek! Oh, that's so sad. I thought when he's in the mad bay and the mad bay is activated, he would regenerate. Oh, guys. Nysek just died. Oh, I'm feeling so bad now. Oh, the massive missile just hit right into our weapons. I wanted to just send him in there. No, you go to repair the weapons. You guys kill the guy in the... Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. Nysek, I'm sorry. And we're taking a ton of damage from these missiles. Ah, uh, we missed our own missile. That's not good. So, you go over here. No, repair the weapons first. 
Oh god, I didn't think this was such a tough fight. Oh, we dodged one, finally. We need to get our dodging further up. You go to the engines. And uh, Kervox, you have to stay at the weapons now. We need somebody to man the weapons. The Zorton shield is down at least. We have to hack something. We have to hack the cockpit. What a tough fight. Oh my god. No, we will not jump away. Oh, and they hit the engines. Uh, the, the helm. After taking this damage, we will never retreat. We will absolutely kill these guys. Everything at the weapons. Okay, guys. Now it's time to take revenge. Revenge for Kur for, for, for Nysak. Oh, that's so sad. Man. <laughs> And it was also not really necessary. I really misplayed that. Kerbox, go back. Yeah, that's true. Need to charge the weapons faster. Also, that means Eldritch Wolfie, who's a perfect engine. Now we have to do a little repositioning after this fight. Okay, there goes a weapon online. Shoot a missile at their cockpit. Good. They fire on their weapons, and the ship is down. Whew, yeah. We get two fuel, a missile, 23 scrap. We're at one third hull. That's, ah, that's not the point where you feel really comfortable. Hey, hey, hey. We have to get stronger, guys. Absolutely have to get stronger. At this sector... It's a totally different story from the last one. Okay, you go over here. And Yorkatur, you will be the new captain. No, no, um, I will not send Kervox uh, to be the new captain because he has to walk around and repair stuff. And the captain always has to be on the bridge or we are not able to dodge. Okay, what do we do? Here? No, here. <sighs> you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. We could buy a, sh a slave. We could also... A Attack the slaver scum. Do we want to negotiate with slave traders? Yeah, we will not negotiate. Let's fight them. They have a burst laser, an MK1 and a bomb. I think in theory that's not the toughest of ships. They have a teleporter, which I would like to destroy. It's a burst laser one. They cannot get through our shields with the laser, so the bomb is everything they have. You both go over and kill the guy who teleported over to, the, to our ship. Ah, uh, no need to lock the doors at the moment. He cannot beat us. He teleported in our med bay, which is the worst place he could have gone. Okay, we hit the shields. That's good. Let's hit the shields a little. Uh, we hit the teleporter, so he cannot retreat. Let's... Oh, no. Uh, doesn't make sense what I'm doing. They have a cloning bay. They will just get him back. So let's rather hit the shields. That's better. Afterwards, burst them completely down. Nice, the shields are down. Now we go for the helm. 
Okay, he teleported back. The bomb missed. That's good. Everybody back to stations. Small, small bomb should not be a problem. That's true. They offer us a new NG. Do we want a new NG? Or do we want the scrap? I think we want the NG, don't we? We need a new crew member. I think so too. Let's accept their offer. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyways. Uh, let's check what will be the name of this character. The first message I see at the very top of the screen is Tokrat. So Nysak, Nysak has, uh, has to... Um, if we want to get a new Nysak, it might take some time. But this one is Tokrat. Tokrat, welcome on board. You are our new officer on shields. No, not on shields. Kervax already has a bit of experience on shields. So, no, Kervax has experience on shields. Kervax is the shields guy. And Tokrat, you are our new weapon guy. That's true, Neche Guevara. We don't want to kill the slaves, we want to free them. And if we destroyed the ship, no way we could have saved the slaves. Very good. Nice, we've got four men on our crew again. There is a store. And we have to go to the store right now. Let's do that. We've got a bit of scrap, so it might be possible to buy something nice here. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species. And I set up something of an alien knick-knack shop here. Why not take a look? Oh, a burst laser MK1. I think we want this burst laser MK1. Because our long-term plan is to set up a massive laser volley. Iron Blast is not bad, but I think we want this burst laser. Yes, let's buy it. Let's buy this burst laser MK1. At the moment, we cannot yet get it online because we have just three points of weapon energy. How much do we need to improve that? We need 40 scrap to improve our weapons to the next level and I would like to do that. If we can do it, we will do that and not repair the hull. Let's go to the store. If we sell our Artemis missile, we will be there. Let's do that. We sell the Artemis missile. We improve our weapon systems. And we get both lasers online. Now we have a pretty massive laser volley. One short. Um, yeah, but we can always take one energy from our engines. So our standard fighting setup will be this. And this makes us a lot stronger, guys. This makes us significantly stronger because the burst laser MK2 shoots three shots and the burst laser one shoots two shots. So we've got five lasers in every single one of our volleys. That makes it a lot easier to get through these shields. The remaining scrap we have left, we use it to fix our ship. So a little bit of repairing is still possible. Yeah, exactly, Neche Guevara. You are right. I think the first weapon is the first to get destroyed when we lose weapon energy from, uh, from damage. Or is, am I wrong? Is, is it like this? Will this one get down? Probably I mix it up. I thought the first weapon is the first to go down. Probably it's the second. So, final jump to the exit. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Then this is the correct order, of course. You arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. 
but first you detect two ships, one chasing the other. Scanners show the pursuer is a pirate. We ate the civilian ship. Um, Paolo, diving means that you scout additional sectors, even though that means that the rebel ship will already be at the long range beacon before you. So you get a bit of additional sectors to uh, get scrap and resources from. Therefore, you have this fight, tough fight against the rebels that, uh, that we saw in the first sector of the first episode. Let's aid the civilians. Here is the pirate ship. They have a burst laser Mark I and a bomb. Also a teleporter. I think these guys are not so dangerous. I feel pretty well against them. They teleport this guy over here. And um, it's a rock. Where does it go? To the shields. You both together fight the rock. Meanwhile, we destroy their weapons. Five shot volley, bam, bam, bam. At least one got in. So at the moment, they cannot hurt us. Both weapons online. Again, let's go for the weapons. Nice, all weapons down. You go out of here. I think um, we don't need this one, so you can heal a little bit. The bomb is back online, but the next volley we sent into their shields. Shields are down, very good. So now we can just keep shooting at their weapons. You go up here, just in case a bomb hits, so you can heal a little at first. You keep fighting. They teleport back out, perfect. Now this fight should practically be won. One more hit and they're dead. Yeah, that's true. Angies are really bad at, <laughs> at melee fighting. <laughs> Tokrat, go back to the weapons. And we beat the pirates. We get a missile, a drone pod and 24 scrap from the pirates. But we hasten to contact the civilian ship. Seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the rema remains of the ship. Another drone part, another missile, 13 scrap. That was worth, we got quite a lot of scrap from this encounter. Everybody at full health, yes. Everybody at their stations, yes. As I said, we did not find the Zoltan homeworld, but we had a couple of interesting encounters on the way. So at next, let's fly to this NG sector. You've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds. But you should be able to stock up for your journey. Let's do that. Here we are. This is the quest location from, our, from, from the last sector. We absolutely have to go to this location. So we might take this long way around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That should be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's fine. That's what we do. We start here. And then we take a circle around the northern part of the map. Ah, okay, okay. Kovacs, you're right, you're right. Oh, and this is interesting. Do we want to sell our drone parts for scrap metals? We have 10 drone parts. That's enough for 10 times hacking. I think we can sell three of them. We will find more as time passes. We sell three drone parts, that should be fine. And the scrap could be handy for other purposes. Now let's go to the distress beacon.
you find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. We will not go in there. The chance of losing a crew member from these giant spiders is very high. That's a risk we will not take. There are certain, um, certain ship um, augmentations that make this a bit, uh, bit more tempting. But we will not go in there. Let's leave them alone. We lost already one crewman in this episode. We don't want to lose another. So let's just jump away from here. This, this, this. I think that's what we do. Sensors go wild as a nearby pulsar is detected. While you are attempting to recalibrate the FTL drive, a pirate sneaks up on your ship. Weapons charging, prepare to fight. This. Do you see these weapons? Ay, ay, ay. They have a bomb, an iron, a charged iron gun, a little beam, and this thing. Okie dokie, what do we do here? Um, I think we will hack them and destroy the weapons. That's what we do. We hack them and destroy the weapons. Because that means we will have safe and secure five hits into their weapons. That should take out a lot of them. Three hits. Weapons are down. Iron bomb hits our engine. I, and that was the iron pulsar. The iron pulsar takes out our shields. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, we uh, destroyed the weapons first. Oh no, they still have their. They still have their um their beam online. Hopefully, it doesn't hit us in time. Hopefully, our weapon charges faster. They get the next weapon online, but not now. They're trying to escape. Ah, uh, now all weapons are down. Let's quickly destroy them. Shoot at their cockpit. And hope we will get one volley up before they can charge the FPL drive. They have an NG, definitely. They repair so quickly. That's not enough. I cannot believe how well equipped your ship is. Please take this and let us live. No chance. The ship explodes. And we get... Two missiles, a drone part, 28 scrap. That was a lot more. So now we just have to wait. Wait, Eldritch Wolfie, that's not your job. Tokrat, you repair the systems. Eldritch Wolfie, go get healed. Then we have to wait till our ship's shields are back online before we do the next jump. Ah, super, they... The iron storm hit our uh, med bay. Can jump out, but first I want the shields back up. Come on, shields up, 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 go. Subsystems do not use energy bars, Paolo. Luckily not. We just have to use energy for everything you see on the left side. Shields, engines, med bay, oxygen, our hacking drone and the weapons. Okay. A rebel ship has been patrolling this region. As soon as you arrive, it begins the assault. They have a missile, two lasers and a drone device. It's not an offensive or defensive drone, so it's some kind of a drone that works on their ship repair drone or something like that we have to take out this no it's uh, uh an, an iron drone that invaded our hacking device okay let's do that if it likes to do that we will meanwhile shoot their weapons okay okay our they don't like it they don't like our 
Can you guys please... Oh, oh, both got stunned. Fucking iron drone. Got the weapons. Luckily he went into the med bay afterwards. Weapons are still offline. Luckily their missile is offline too. Quickly recharge the weapons. He's in the doors now, that's fine. Once again, burst their weapons just to make sure that their missile doesn't get online again. Weapons are down, very good. He's in the shields now, which doesn't matter that much because we'll take down the remaining weapons now. Good. Just important that he doesn't mess around with our weapons. Oh, that was bad. Luckily we dodged that. Come on, on the weapons again. Very good. They took our shields down one more time. We just have to keep the weapons down, then everything is fine. Oh! That could uh, mean some hull damage. Okay, they hit our, our door systems. That's not the worst that could have happened. Weapons back down. And we should now be able to kill them with one more volley. The drone is no fun at all, you're right. <laughs> Nietzsche Guevara, you're totally right. <coughs> so. Ah! Oh, come on! Toktrad, what are you doing? <laughs> that was a hit. Five fuel, 15 missiles. No, we're not interested in missiles anymore. Oh no, not the weapons. Come on, go and destroy this drone. One more hit and they're down. Yes, got them. Oh, that was too much damage. I don't like that. 26 scrap. Not worth. We quickly have to send our NG over here to repair the doors. So we can use fire to extinguish the fire in the mat bay. So let's now care about the fire. Meanwhile, you guys go down here and over and repair the breach. Holy moly, guys, this was a tough fight again. We're down to eight hull points. It's pretty scary. Close this door. But at the end of the day, we won. Elvish Wolf, you also get over here. Because you also took some damage. And uh, now let's heal our guys. I kind of feel like we need a third shield. On the other hand, significant amount of the damage we take is from uh, from missiles. Don't have any way to deal with missiles yet. No defensive drone and no cloaking. Let's check. We need a hundred for the third shield. We could buy it. That would make us a lot, a lot tankier. We could get Zoltan shield in there. Ah, we could get the Zoltan shield. Yeah, we can. Let's see if we get it. Let's jump over here. You arrive at the location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. But the only thing nearby is a rebel ship, 
closing in fast. We found you. You're not getting away this time. Let's not attack them. Let's rather attempt to hail them. They open communications. I can't imagine there is anything you could say that will save you. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete federation. We've got three options now. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideas without war. Or surrender, your ultimate destruction is inevitable. You've left scores of rebels destroying in our wake, we fluff. Or finally, your rebellion is causing millions of deaths. Your beliefs are dividing the galaxy. Unity is the only option. Uh, the first or the third, which one was better? A reconciliation of our ideals without war? Sounds good. Uh, we've got a lot of people for the first, a little bit for the third. I think both are sounding pretty fine. But uh, we take the democratic decision. We take the first option. We don't want war. By the way, Instrument and Freak. Nice to see you. Welcome to the stream again. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end anyway but war? Two options. The galaxy is huge. You can find a place for your ideas elsewhere without causing this destruction. Second, true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. First or second? What do you guys think? First or second? I see first a couple times. They both don't sound too bad. True progress. First, first, first. Second. Whew. Second, second. I think this time The majority says second. We want true progress. We don't want them to have war in another part of the galaxy. We don't want war at all. I think so too. We don't want war at all. We take the second option. <coughs> Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away and a Zoltan fleet appears around your ship. The captain of the ship you met previously materializes on your bridge. That sounds good. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. This technology should aid your quest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we get the Zoltan shield for our ship, guys. 15 scrap and the Zoltan shield, here it is. You know what this means? We've got five free hits on our shield now. If they try to hit us, they have to get down our Zoltan shield, like, just like we had to do with the Zoltan ships we fought. And before this shield is down, our main shield will not even be scratched. That's what I call pretty cool. Also what I like is the fact that here we have a store. Let's get ready. I think let's do like this. Haripan needed, that's true. Let us... For free powers. I'd like to get some more... Some more scrap before we go to the shop. 
I feel relatively safe. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort and is clearly broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. I vaguely remember that there is a chance that this station will explode and do a lot of damage. I do not want to risk this while we are so low on hull points. Let's ignore this fueling station. Also, we still have quite a bit of fuel left. We will not go in here. Oh! See this? As you prepare to leave the system, a pirate ship suddenly appears on scanners. It looks like it was attempting to use the platform as bait. Oh, correct decision. Very good. Sneaky pirates. Sneaky pirates. Damn stone oozes. Indeed, I'd like to see a stone ooze in the chat now. This was sneaky. <laughs> Okie dokie. What do we have? Oh, and this pirate has a massive missile. We do not want to get hit by this missile. Not even once. So we should definitely hack their their bridge. Because this big missile takes a lot of energy. If we manage to destroy their weapons or damage their weapons, chances should be very high that we take out the big missile. And they cannot hit us with a single blow of the missile. Because luckily at first they would have... Big missile is down, perfect. Still got a bit of a bit of, um, of a Zoltan sheet online, that's nice too. Still a little bit of Zoltan shield. Nice, weapons down. Now we got them. They will never shoot this massive missile at us. And without this missile, they have no chance to hurt us. Let's take them on the shields. Nice. Heavy hit at the shields. Oh, guys, we've got you. Try to bribe us. That's not enough. Ah, that's really good. The Zoltan Shield was an amazing finding, guys. That's so important. Makes our defense so much stronger. Now let's kill them. Yes! Bye bye, pirate. That's for your sneaky trap. Oh! 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 What's that? Get another burst laser MK2. Ay, 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 ay. Woo! The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of scrap. Ay, 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 ay. Now we have a second thick and we have indeed pew, 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 pew. That's totally amazing. So, we will swap these weapons. So we've got both burst lasers online. How much scrap would we need to get the third one online? 125. 125 for the mega volley of mass destruction. Hmm. I guess we will do that. But at first we need to know what we get from the store. So we jump down here and then we go to the store. In theory, we should be strong enough to beat most enemies without the third weapon online. You over here, Mantis, come chatter. The one on the right, starting to rot. Take him down. Take off his fingers. Put him out of the airlock. They certainly don't seem to be friendly. Um... Let's attack the ship. They do have a teleporter. They will teleport on board our ship. They have a burst laser MK2. 
together with a heavy laser. That's pretty dangerous. We have to take out their weapons as quickly as we can. That means standard strategy. Where... Oh, they cannot teleport through the Zoltan shield. That's good. Take out their weapons. Let's get that up a little bit. Okay, their weapons are down and our Zoltan shield is still up. Well, Mantises, now you've got a problem. <laughs> That's so good about the Zoltan shield. They cannot teleport through it. They have to take the Zoltan shield down first. So as long as we keep shooting their weapons, there's no way they will ever teleport over to our ship. <laughs> Let's also destroy the teleporter just in case. Teleporters also down. And the next volley will destroy them. Shoot in here, shoot in here. Hack them, and the mantis go down. Nicey. We get a missile, a drone part, and 22 scrap. Nice. We take that with us to the store. Let's see what this store has to offer. A messenger arrives. Your scrap, ours, our weapon. Weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Oh, oh, NG trader, you could have, uh, you could have said that differently, I guess. He's desperately trying to sell weapons to us. Do we want weapons? Nah. Mind control, crew teleport. Crew teleport is not bad. Drone control. And lots of drones. Do we want to buy anything here? Probably not. I think we don't. I think we don't. Let's rather use the scrap we found. Yeah, Hull, we, Corin, you're right. We will repair the Hull later. But at first, we need to improve our firepower even further. Mind control is neat, but we already have hacking. Hacking and mind control is quite a lot, don't you think? I would definitely take cloaking if we could get it. But I think I rather want to keep working on the off offense. Let's increase our weapon by two. Energy by one. Get this burst laser online and repair the ship. Oh, that's wrong. Repair back to a uh, healthy level. Okay, it's pretty expensive. They take three for one repair. Six, seven. That's fine. We're back at 50% and we have a ridiculous offense now. We've got eight laser bursts shooting out. While at the same time, we also have, let's not forget that, an automated reloader. That's massive offense. By the way, how good is Tokrat at weapons? Nah, he still needs a bit. He's uh, he's getting there. He's getting there to the first experience level. Aldrich Wolfie at the same time. Maximum engine skills. Jokatur. Still practicing, still practicing. And Kervox. Also still practicing, but not long. Not much, not much longer to go. A distress beacon. Let's go to this distress beacon. Our ship got so much stronger during the last couple jumps. That's insane, really. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? Could be dangerous. Let's search for the ship. Let's do that. You find a pirate ship, damaged and abandoned. You salvage what you can and move on. Two fuel, a drone part, 38 scrap. Nice. Very nice. 
I think we will instantly use that for even more energy. Yeah, yeah, let's keep working on the defense. Yeah, with the with the Z shield there is no training for shields, so it will take a while till the shield training will uh, pay off. What's this? An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Uh, that's not enough. That's not enough. Pirate, we will be the hero. We will save this badly damaged ship. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. They have a beam and an iron gun. They have no chance they will ever hit us. No chance in hell. And uh, I am already looking forward to what's soon going to happen. Let us just dodge a little better. And um, maybe this and also this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Take the shields out. Bye bye shields. Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. 14 scrap, oh come on. Reject. Shields are down. And now we just wait till the next volley goes off. GSS, Tiffany does pew 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 pew. Oh yeah, your Katura, that's what the Tiffany does. The pirate explodes, leaving behind an essential collection of scrap. He examined the ship you just saved, so we get 16 scrap. Upon closer inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. We could destroy the ship and salvage it. We could use the leverage gained by saving their lives to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. Would give us an extra jump in this sector, but um, could we make use of this extra jump? Too late to delay. I think so too. And the rebels, they are not our friends. Let's destroy them. Two missiles, drone part, 18 scrap. We'd rather take that. Yeah, we would have maybe got this jump extra, but not worth. I have to do the finger test, though. Um, hmm. uh, okay, we don't get another jump. Would be a dive if we would go down here. So we could take this. And this. Double dive and then exit. Do we want to do the double dive? We've got a strong ship. I think we can do it. Probably. Would give us two additional sectors. Um, I'm not sure if it's a nebula. No, it's not. I think the majority of the crew says no. The exit beacon, no, it's not a nebula. Mm. Let's listen to what the crew says. Let's not take the dive. We directly jump to the exit beacon. You arrive at the long range beacon. You pick up an automated message from a nearby space station. There appears to be a local shipwright that can perform emergency work on military ships. Let us inquire about their specialty. The 
they offer to upgrade your piloting su subsystem in exchange for some scrap. So for just 12 scrap they upgrade our pilot system. Oh we do that we agree. Oh for sure. Nice. Pilot upgraded by one. That's definitely a good offer. See here we've got it now. This additional gives us um, a big advantage. Now if nobody is on the bridge we still have 50% of our evasion. And the even bigger advantage if our, we take a little bit of damage to our bridge it is not completely destroyed. We can, we can still dodge even after taking a little bit of damage. Nice. So it would uh, indeed have been a dodge like we suspected. So let's just jump out of the sector before the rebels catch up to us. Into this uncharted nebula. Nebulas were always dangerous places. Many electronics fail in these clouds. You will have to treat lightly. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I think there were also some advantages of increased sensors in a nebula, weren't there? Or rather the engines? Reactor? You mean energy? Um, I consider one blue option with sensors. Some nebulas might drain the energy, but they don't drain just our energy. They also drain the energy of the enemies. So that's actually kind of okay for us. There are tons of nebula jumps in here. I think let's go for sensors too in this nebula. Yep. Quick upgrade to the sensors. And this, guys and girls, is the last thing we did in this episode. If you ask me, this was a really exciting episode. Especially the third sector. Holy moly. We had a bunch of truly tough fights where I was really, really afraid we might probably get into some serious trouble. We were beaten down to eight points of damage. Uh, eight points of hull. But later, towards the end of the episode, holy moly, the GSS Tiffany got a pretty strong spaceship. We got the Zoltan Shield. We got a second burst laser 2 and a burst laser 1. We've got a mighty selection of laser weapons on our ship now. That's so good. With this equipment, with this newly equipped spaceship, I've got a good feeling that we will be able to get through this nebula sector successful. But for now, let me just say thanks a lot to everybody who tuned in. We had round about 70, 18, I think at one point we had 20 people for FTL. I think that's super great. I'm, I'm really happy that you guys seem to be enjoying the series. Because I myself, I'm, I'm really enjoying it too. So thanks a lot for cheering. Thanks a lot for everybody who subscribed today, of course. Thanks a lot to everybody who will see, to everybody who will see this episode tomorrow on YouTube. The next stream will take place on Sunday, 5 p.m. Central European Time. Sunday, 5 p.m. Central European Time. If you ask me, we might try to finish our FTL run on that stream. It's gonna be a long stream on Sunday. We've got a lot of time. We might try to make a lot of progress on FTL. I definitely like to do that, because if this week we got this run finished, we might probably start another Adom run in the next week. Anyways, everybody, as always, I would love to see you on Sunday, 5 p.m. Central European time. Until then, bye everybody.